What's good, boys? Real quick before the video starts, I wanted to talk about a partnership I've started with Creality Cloud, the best 3D marketplace there is. Why, you might ask? Because not only can you buy whatever model you want, but if you have access to a 3D printer, you can actually 3D print the models that you buy. It's super sick, so you guys should check it out. I posted a couple of the models for my old tutorials on there for purchase, so feel free to check those out as well. Alright, now on to the video. So, Evade is kinda swag, isn't it? You've probably tried to find horror models online before to recreate it, yeah? But what if you could like, you know, sort of make the models from it yourself? Bingo! We're making horror assets today, cause every other YouTuber is useless and won't do it. Alright, let me real quick show you a list of what we're making today so that I don't lose track. <coughs> Knife. Props. Tree and the receipt from the Grim Reaper. It's a tasty little selection that should get you started in the right direction. Now let's start off with some tasty tombstone toast, yeah? Start off by finding a picture of the granite giggler you want to model on Google. Download it and chuck it into Blender. Sweet. Now add a cube and scale it to look like the base of the perpetual pause button. Now sadly that was my last gravestone euphemism, so no more jokes for the rest of the video. Cry about it. Now inset, extrude, and scale the top face over and over again until it looks roughly like the tombstone. To speed things up, you can just press E to extrude, I to inset, and S to scale. If you want to get really fancy, you can actually specify an axis after pressing S to lock the scaling to one axis, like X, Y, or Z. From there, bevel a couple random edges, move around a couple of vertices to make it look less perfect, and use the boolean modifier on some spare cubes to put some dents in it. Yep, yeah, that looks fine to me. Alright, now, tree. Uh, I'm stealing Infenzia's method for this since I couldn't be bothered to come up with one on my own. Start by adding a cube and deleting everything except one vertice from it. Now put that vertice near the center of the viewport and start extruding it upward. Once you're a good bit up there, start branching off. Extrude there, extrude here, then extrude the extrude extrude. Sick! Mess it up a bit with proportional editing if you want. Now go back to object mode and give it a skin modifier. Yes. Now in edit mode, select the vertices at the tip of all the branches and with proportional editing enabled, press Ctrl and A to scale them down. Now select the vertice at the bottom of the tree and again press Ctrl A, but this time scale it up. Give it a subsurf modifier, shade it smooth, and the modeling is done. Okay, let's do this thing next. Uh, find a sideways picture of a cool looking knife on Google and put it in Blender. Now trace the handle with a cube, bevel off those outside edges by extruding and scaling, Extrude a skinny little blade out, and add those textbook circles to the end of it that all kitchen knives have. Probably screws for the handle or something. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's basically it, though. You can shade it smooth if you want, but, yeah, that's, that's it for the knife. Last thing, generic props. Start by modeling a basic shape. Anything, really. Now keep in mind, this may take about 10 business days, since you don't have a reference image to piggyback off of. Now find some cool-looking textures online, like torn wallpaper or cracked bricks or something. Now set that picture as the object's material. Then under the UV tab, press U and then cube projection. You can do this with like a million objects. It's a really easy way to make background props that don't look like absolute garbage. You can also adjust the UVs manually if you have to. Like for this AC looking thing, I rotated a couple of the faces on the UVs to make it look a bit better. Alrighty, yeah I think that's about it. Good luck making your horror game, and let me know if you want to see more tutorials about this type of thing, like making monsters or building interiors. Until then, I'll see y'all later.